back from the boat episode 131. I hope you are very well this week and this week I have a very special guest. I have Elizabeth Flett on my Hello. sofa with me. Hello. <laughs> Hello. And Elizabeth is a Scottish music musician. Um, so you have, you, we actually went to the same college, didn't we? You went to, you studied in Guildhall and then you have um, just finished a master's in Aberdeen. That's right. In um, folklore. Okay, well, just just get help help me out. <laughs> Folklore and ethnology. And ethnology, yeah. amazing. And you're living up in Aberdeen yes. at the moment when she's not basically touring everywhere <laughs> with um, theatre projects. You've been doing some solo theatre projects. Is that was that kind of a, a lockdown makes us do solo things? <laughs> inspiration. I, I was I was ahead of the curve for that one, so I mm -hmm. I uh, did a solo folk show called Roots in 2019, which I took to the 2019 Edinburgh Fringe Fantastic. and did a, a week run long there. And then I also had another solo folk show called Christina, which I was commissioned to do by the Dundee Whiting Centre. And I did in a couple of different um, learning spaces and performance spaces around uh, my area of Scotland, which is kind of the Fife Dundee area. Um, also kind of in 2019-ish. And then yeah, my, my solo folk uh, run of things kind of got cut short by COVID, yeah. Mm, yeah, performance, performance wise. And so you play a lot of different instruments. So it's like you're I just do. a totally yeah. multi-talented <laughs> woman. So you, you write as well, you write lyrics. I'm super jealous, like I never really write lyrics. It's just, I, I love singing other people's but um, it's something I would love to be able to do. And I haven't really attempted yet, but what inspires you when you're writing lyrics? That's a great question. Um, as, a, as a folk musician, I personally find it really important to make sure that my work, the work that I'm producing, has something to say about the world in which we currently find ourselves. So quite often there'll be something that's made me really angry or really sad or really frustrated and a way that I can find to process those emotions and share them in a way that's helpful to me and also to other people hopefully is to put them into songs. So um, for instance Barbed Wire Goodbye is the song which is the title track of my 2020 EP which was my lockdown project that's what I did in 2020 I made an EP lovely <laughs> in the spare room of my parents house <laughs> uh, Barbara goodbyes that was after I read about families on the border of Mexico and the United States mm -hmm. with toddlers being separated from their parents and then um, being separated for so long they no longer recognized the faces of their mothers and didn't know who were their parents and I was just so struck by that that I wrote that song from the perspective of the mother imagining what that would be like for her and the EP was kind of a socially aware body of of a cup of five or so songs that I'd written with a social activist viewpoint so for yeah so particularly That's an from that part of the folk traditions name that I tend to very often draw from quite historical traditional repertoire myself and I often feel this kind of disjunct between um, particularly in gender and the environment you know things that have changed beyond kind of recognition in recent times and then I mean I will delve away and find the songs that I feel have something that's incredibly relevant to the world we're in now but all of that kind of, um, I haven't done so many of the sort of socially aware kind of mid, mid uh, 20th century, mm. for example, ones. So that's a sort of tradition that you're following on from and bringing it like, in this global world where we're kind of living in now. And there aren't so many songs about Mexico, for example, from, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> from the 1950s. So Well, not that we know. I mean, they were written in Mexico, but yeah. Uh, yes, no, I mean, like, the, the British musicians yeah, yeah, in, yeah. in the kind of British folk genres are, are feeling irrelevant to, to them. So, yeah, that's good. I'm very excited that you're updating, updating the genre. That's, that's, the, that's the plan. The that's the edge. aim. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, you, um, your parents played fiddle. and you played That's right, yeah. Fiddle from growing up. Yeah, and you're going to play some fiddle with me on Nickel Harper now. Tell us about the tune that we're going to play. 
Sure, so, uh, rather unfortunately the tune we're going to play is called Winter in Shetland. We are neither in Shetland nor is it winter. It's definitely not winter today on the houseboat. It's <laughs> particularly hot in Hackney today. <laughs> um, but uh, it's called Winter in Shetland and I wrote it as part of a project run by Jenny Sturgeon, uh, who's a fantastic Scottish musician. And it was kind of a multimedia uh, project which ended up turning into a film which you can check out on YouTube called As Far North As Anything Grows. As Far North As Anything Grows. That's it. YouTube. Okay. But uh, yeah, so I wrote this tune for the project and now it's it's getting a really nice life, getting played around with different people and I'm looking forward to playing it with you. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. And just, we've got YouTube for that. Uh, where can we connect more with you? Uh, you can connect with me. I'll do this direct into camera. Here we are. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> you can connect with me on all of the social media possibilities that you possibly can. Um, I'm on Instagram at Essaflet, so that's E-S-S-A-F-L-E-T-T. I'm also that on Twitter, and then I'm Elizabeth Flett, spelt an S, on Facebook. And I'm going to be in a show at Edinburgh Fringe uh, uh, next month called, and this is a good name, uh, My Lover Was a Salmon in the Climate Apocalypse. And it's on at the Pleasance all month, so if you're looking for something to do and you're in the in the vicinity of the Fringe and you want to see something weird and wacky and to do with climate activism and full of folk music and it's also pretty funny, uh, then check us out. Beautiful. Thank you so much for coming and joining me. Oh, and thank you. Looking forward to making music. Yeah.